it appears that Tesla will use a very revolutionary new product. And it's actually not that new. That's the weird part about this, guys. This special technology has been around for years now. For some reason, the automotive industry hasn't adopted it, but it should. I mean, it's actually better in a number of ways than existing tires. These new tires for, I think, really four big reasons should be used on all cars, not just Tesla's new EVs. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Guys, this, um, this is interesting here. Why the hell have manufacturers intentionally chosen not to use these new tires? I don't really understand it because there's a huge number of benefits to these new tires that Tesla apparently are planning to begin using next year on it's possibly the Tesla Model Y Juniper, maybe also the Model 2. Some of these benefits, guys, they just make sense. They, they makes me really question and say to myself, why the hell are they not around already? Why are the manufacturers not using them? Now, Michelin has airless tires. I've had the, some of the worst experiences with punctures, car punctures, being in the middle of nowhere. And then, guys, my my old BMW, it has these special wheel knobs, these special wheel nuts. And if you tighten them up too tight, which I didn't do, true story, I really didn't. The, the, the tire shop, when they replaced my tires, they tightened them up too tight with a ratchet gun. It was not possible to undo them. Uh, they literally had to get a drill and drill into these tire nuts to remove them. That's when I forced them to do it. I took my car back there and, I, and after a, a crazy experience, I, I literally was about, I think about 450 kilometers away from my home and I got a flat tire. I, I went, okay, no worries. I'll, I'll swap the tire over and I couldn't get the wheel nuts off. I drove my car to a, um, a tire shop and it was fortunately it was only a couple of kilometers away, but I had run flat tires. So that's the one positive of run flat tires. I could drive it to this car shop. And this was a massive car shop. For some reason, I lucked into this huge car shop. They do trucks. It was the biggest car shop I've ever seen in my life. It was in the middle of nowhere. It was, yeah. Anyway, found it and they could not get it. They could not get them off. They tried everything. They tried uh, literally jumping on uh, these massive long pole and then they put an extra pole on the end of that pole. They jumped on that with two people. Uh, they bent the pole. That's how hard these, these ridiculous tie nuts from BMW are on the proprietary tie nuts. Could not get them off. Anyway, eventually eventually they were to plug the hole. The plug didn't work that well. It kept going flat after every couple of hours. But anyway, got me back to Melbourne, got me back home. And then eventually they drilled into these ridiculous lug nuts and got these tires off. And you know, that story I'm sure has happened to you. Something like that. Um, I'm sure that's happened to millions of people at some point in time. But you can avoid that. I mean, if you have airless tires, that's not going to happen. Like you'd have to have like a catastrophic event for your tire to actually have this happen, have to replace the tire. By the way, guys, don't get a car with proprietary lug nuts. They suck. Unless they're really good ones that you can take off. Now, the BMW ones are terrible because um, the way they're designed is if you push too hard on them, guess what happens? They just break and then you're stuck and you can't get the lugs off. You've got to drill them and try to drill metal with metal. It's it's a difficult process, put it that way. Anyhow, airless tires have been around for a long time, but Tesla has been actually testing Michelin's new airless tire technology or their latest technology with their vehicle lineup. Airless tires um, haven't really made their way to cars at all yet. And there's a reason why they're new. They're different. They're, people are scared of change, maybe. That's what I think anyway. I can't see why else. Now, the big advantage of not losing air is, of course, reliability. You get a puncture and it doesn't matter. Uh, the other advantage, though, is they can be lighter and more efficient. So that would save you money, right? You might get more range. Um, yeah, big difference. Rolling resistance would be better. Anyhow, the other big difference, guys, is environmental. That, and this is something that I think is quite important. If you're driving an EV, you, you, know, you, you want to have a, a positive impact, right? Now, airless tires, they massively reduce tire scraps. So that is one thing. You don't realize this, but you can actually breathe in tire stuff. You know, when people do burnouts or people um, just drive in general, tiny little bits of the tires actually fly up in the air. So if you live near a freeway or a highway, you're probably breathing in tire dust. That's pretty nasty. 
that is lessened significantly with airless tires. French tire giant Michelin has been among the first tire manufacturers looking to bring airless tires into passenger cars. Here's what uh, not a Tesla app said. Michelin, one of the world's largest car manufa tire manufacturers, recently confirmed in an interview with CEO with its CEO that it has begun talks about testing its Uptus airless tire technology on Tesla vehicles. So Tesla actually is testing its car tires on their vehicles, and it looks highly likely that new Tesla vehicles will get these new tires. Michelin has tested its airless tires with the Chevy Bolt EV. Um, that was back in 2019. And it said at the time it was hoping to bring the technology to consumer vehicles by 2024. So part of the reason maybe we don't have them is because potentially Michelin was not in a position to manufacture enough of them um, for them to be mainstream and for them to be in a position to actually kind of perfect the technology, make sure the right comfort's correct, that kind of thing. Sounds like they are now. This is a huge advantage, guys. Airless tires, it's brilliant. I mean, you know what? I just saw some research saying that drivers in the UK are losing billions of dollars every year in efficiency because they are driving tires that don't have enough air in them. So some people are driving their tires around with too much air and they're getting this suspension and that's wrecking their cars. Others are driving around their tires with not enough air. It's costing them huge amounts of money and fuel, extra fuel, they don't even realize it. It's very common for this to happen. It can happen to you, you know, you don't realize your tires just lose oxygen, lose air. And think about it, guys. This happens in things like different temperature changes. Maybe you live in a place where it's like um, very hot, very cold in the same period of time. That will change the actual tire pressure in your tires. So even if you set the tire pressure at a point where you think it's the right pressure, that pressure will significantly change. Have a look at your tire pressure monitor in your car when it's say five degrees in the nighttime and then have a look at it during the daytime when it's 30 degrees. I'm talking Celsius here guys, sorry Americans. Have a look at it, the pressure will literally change. So if your tire pressure is ideally a certain, let's say it's, um, I don't know, 38 PSI, well, you can't really stay at 38 PSI because those atmospheric pressure changes, temperature changes are gonna affect the, t the pressure in your tires. This tire, would not be affected by atmospheric temperature changes. By being in a ski resort or being in a desert, you can do that in the same day, right? It wouldn't be affected. And you wouldn't have to think to yourself, have I have I put enough air in my tires? Are they the right pressure? Big, big advantage here, guys, for a lot of people. A lot of people are not like, you know, not that confident with what's the right pressure for my tires. Have I put air in them? So they're driving around probably damaging their vehicles or getting poor efficiency. This would solve that problem. At the same time, it would significantly reduce tire waste. I really like this idea. Guys, he was bullish about this as me. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.